Which Big 12 football coaches are on the hot seat and in danger of losing their job if they have a bad 2022 season? Yeah, I think the first one's Neil Brown. Uh, he can't have another bad year at West Virginia. I don't even know what a bad year entails. I think if he misses a bowl, he probably can't survive that. So, I mean, especially if expectations, like we got asked, what, a couple weeks ago about them being a 10-win team. So, clearly, the fan base has unreasonable expectations. So, I think he probably needs to win seven games, at least make a bowl to keep his job. Um, Steve Sarkeesian has to make a bowl. Has to. I think he's getting fired if he's not making a bowl. But, again, I think they will. And then the other one that's interesting to me, and he can kind of go either way as we're going to talk about in the next question, but I don't think Chris Kleiman cannot make a bowl. Like, I think this team's too good to not make a bowl appearance, and I think they will, but I think he would be on the hot seat and maybe lose his job if they went 5-7 and seven or 4-8. and eight. Um, For me, I think the only one that's realistic is Neil Brown. Uh, I think that one's become pretty clear over the last couple of years of they're just sort of in no man's land, sort of the middle ground. They've had some highs, but they've also had a bunch of lows. They had the mass exodus in the transfer portal, and then they managed to stop the bleeding by hiring Graham Harrell, but really by getting JT Daniels out of the portal. And basically they're pinning all of their hopes on JT Daniels, making them like some 10-win team or whatever. And I know some of it's just West Virginia fans joking around. Some of it's not. Uh, they're on that that moonshine a little early, I guess, because he's good. He's not, th- you know, good enough to turn them into like the Big Twelve champs, in my opinion. Uh, but yeah, I think Neil Brown's got to show a little something this year, and it's it's more than just making a bowl game. You got to like actually go out and do something, uh, because you know, hanging your hat on just bowl games these days that can be a bit misleading. So. Uh, yeah, I think Neil Brown's got something to prove. He doesn't have to go win like nine games, but I think he's got to win like seven or eight and, you know, not eke out a, a postseason invitation. Um, and then the other two you mentioned, I think just with Kansas State, though, you know, on Chris Kleiman, I get that they're just kind of there, but um, – I mean, what are your options? Like, there's there comes a point when you got to be realistic about who you are. And so, if you're Kansas State, I mean, you could want more at this point from Chris Kleiman. Although I think you know injuries, obviously Skylar Thompson, that probably derailed a couple of wins off their schedule the last couple of years. And if you look at it that way, well, they're all of a sudden like, hey, they're actually kind of okay. Uh, so I think their records have been a little bit misleading because of of that quarterback problem in particular. Uh, but now you got uh, Martinez back there, which that'll be an adventure uh, if he's anything like his Nebraska self. So, you know, I could see where you're coming from, but I just think, like, what's your other option, K-State? You know, like, what else are you going to go get that's going to be any better than this guy? I think they're at a point where they just got to be patient for a little while and just grind away and just slowly but surely get better. Uh, so that's just my take on that. Who was the other one you said? Oh, the other one was um, Steve Sarkeesian if they don't make a bowl. Yeah, I mean, I can't imagine them not making a bowl game again. But if again. they don't, yeah, would you I agree? mean, yeah, I guess so. Yeah, but I just I think two years would off, you know be a pretty quick trigger as well. Uh, and at some point, if you're Texas, like you got to be realistic too. If you went and made a big move to go get Steve freaking Sarkeesian from Alabama when he was at the highest of highs, uh, as far as when you hired him. I mean, and then you dump him after two years because he's not showing up progress. Like, what are you really planning on doing with your program? So I could see that because it's Texas, but I also think that would be kind of a, a quick trigger. But it's interesting. I, I think the, the main one, though, we can all agree is Neil Brown. He's the one that's that's facing the most pressure this year. I'll also ask, conversely, which Big 12 coaches are most at risk to leave their teams to the NFL or a better program after a successful 2022 season. Yeah, I mean, if Lance Leipold goes and wins four or five games, I think someone might hire him. So he's one. Uh, Mike Gundy definitely has to be one. He is every year. But if he has another year like last year, it's going to be hard for a big program to not take a, a shot on him in my mind, even though it does seem like he's kind of been. They haven't well, for 20 I years, know. though. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, yeah, yeah, but I do think he's at risk. Uh, you know, I, I know Baylor fans won't like to hear this, but Dave Aranda, if he makes a college football playoff, I think he's at risk. Um, and then Chris Kleiman, if he has a great year, I think he could move on from Kansas State, kind of like you said. K-State doesn't have a lot of options, but Kleiman might if he has a really good year and finishes, you know, top three in the conference. Yeah, I think uh, that's all possible. Um, yeah, I don't I don't see any, you know, I mean, I think Aranda obviously will be mentioned, but I, I don't know the coaching carousel will be as wacky as it was last year. I mean, that was an unprecedented year with like 10 jobs opening up that, you know, otherwise would probably have been spread out over two or three seasons. Uh, we got like five seasons worth of coaching high-profile changes. 
So, yeah, I mean, I think those names make sense, but um, a little too early to know just who all is going to be open uh, at this point. And uh, without that, you don't know, like, oh, well, that's a Michigan guy right there. or that's a. But, yeah, I mean, I think those names you mentioned are all uh, certainly candidates to, uh, to get poached away or to at least have, you know, people come at them.